Coming into it, I didn't know what to expect fully. I don't think anyone did because it was kind of like a, I don't know, let's see what happens. Let's put this guy in the room with these students and like see how it goes. I think with those kids, I wasn't like trying to be Professor Jens Karas. I mean, I, I thought of it as a collaboration, but I was kind of dealing with them as if they were more professional than they actually were. And I thought you really nailed that balance between educator and collaborator. And I don't think you spent too much time trying to educate. And I think they learned a lot more that way, almost as if they were your intern. Actually, a lot of times you came in around 10 or 11 a.m. and kind of did some work, took a little break, got a lunch, and then you just like would get into the zone. You hung out till at least 1 a.m. every night. And I told my students to like be prepared to hang. And it definitely reminded me more of what professional experiences are professional recording sessions so often are you get a lockout time in a studio and you just get to work and it's sometimes at 2 30 a.m or late at night where someone's like hey what if we tried this and that's where some of these kind of more creative elements came from and i witnessed that with you working directly with my students you should know that. like nurturing a kid's creativity and like kind of trying to enable them to follow their passions and their curiosities. If you give them that much rope, so to speak, like they'll rise to the occasion. They were willing to try things. They were willing to trust me because, you know, there was their music, their songs, and, you know, they were very good. And I think you were really good at working with them. And <clears throat> I'll say from my point of view, I learned a gazillion things from you that week. The only thing that can be consistent is your work effort. And the more that you problem solve, the better you get at it. Um, but I specifically asked each one of these students, like, don't pick your precious song for this yeah. residency. Pick something that you don't necessarily know which direction to take it and realize the medium of recorded and produced music presents so many more options than just simply capturing a great performance. And I asked my students not to skip classes, but to clear their schedules as much as possible so they could have a nice long runway with Jens as opposed to, hey, you have from 2 to 4.30 to work yeah. with them and then go. Yeah. It, it's much more like, hey, do you need to just sit in a room with a great artist who's been doing this longer than you and is better at this than you in order to soak up every little micro decision and creative thought process? You know, here I am in my second year as the director of this commercial music program, and I'm doing everything I can to try and create professional experiences for my students that don't necessarily come from traditional academic perspectives. So stuff like that comes from what would I have wanted when I was in school? Like, I don't think a lot of universities out there are bringing in music producers to produce music with their students directly. 
And I am very much uh, a proponent of the idea that limitations are kind of prerequisite for creativity. You know, you need those challenges to work around because creativity in one sense is essentially problem solving. Mm. So if you have infinite choices, you don't really have a problem. And if you don't have a problem, then you don't have to be creative. The human brain is much more horizon oriented. It moves in its own rhythms so it can really sit and think deeply on something. In the context of this program, I guess suppose the goal would be to like empower these kids to a point where as the landscape, as the market, as their own ideas of themselves change, they are still capable of holding on to whatever that initial motivation was and adapting to the lives they find themselves in. I really enjoyed getting to know them. They were all interesting, thoughtful, just lovely, pleasant people to work with. And um, so getting to know them was great. Getting in the studio with them was also great because um, they were totally professional. The whole experience was in one way very taxing because it was like late nights all week. You know, it's hard like sitting there for seven and eight hours at a time and try to stay creative and try to stay productive for a week straight. So that was very hard, but it was very rewarding. And I thought, hopefully, it's beneficial to those students as it was for me, you know. Oh, baby, I'm falling, I'm falling.